everyone welcome to fame world educational hub myself ashwarya saxena and this is the channel on which you are watching this particular video play on this channel i am going to start jupiter series so jupiter notebook i am going to start and uh, if you are learning machine learning and if you are learning python then jupiter notebook is a web based ide which you can use for coding purposes and uh, if you are new to this channel just subscribe the channel and press the notification bell and if you are already a subscriber of this channel thanks for watching game word educational hub now i am coming towards the jupiter notebook you can call it jupiter notebook also both are correct both pronunciations are correct so uh, jupiter.org is the official website of jupiter and i will share the link in the description so this is the website you can just surf it and uh, if you want to install it so as it is an ide so you do not have to install it on some pycharm or something like that you directly have to install it on the command prompt so for that you can just go to the install section i am just going to show you the code which is required for the installation the command which is required for the installation and uh, i am just coming towards my command prompt so i am just typing cmd cmd is the command prompt the dos disk operating system which is so here you can see this is the default path and i am just coming towards the c drive you can directly install it into the c drive and if you are installing it in the c drive it will be working from every, anywhere wherever you want to launch so i am just going to tell you the command now here you can just see i will recommend you to just uh, uh, serve this website like uh, go through it uh, like for 15 to 20 minutes either but it will really helpful for you if you are visiting it so you can see this pip command is for jupyter lab and now anaconda and like this is the command for installing jupyter notebook so if you want to install jupyter notebook into your system you just have to type pip install notebook so pip install notebook you have to type here so i am typing pip install notebook but i am not going to install it you have to install it it will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes and a good network uh, please keep your network connected otherwise it will not be installed you have to keep it connected so whenever when as you will press the enter key it will start installing into your system and it will take approximately 20 to 25 minutes on a good network speed so if a network breaks so it will just uh, like uh, the installation would be break you just have to reinstall it again but yes i'm not going to install it because i'm already having it now i'm just going to tell you that how to launch jupyter notebook like after installation you will have to launch it so here you can see Jupyter Notebook, this is the command, any like uh, any OS you are using, either Linux, Mac or you are using Windows, same commands are required, same command is used for installation also. Jupyter you can use on any platform and it will work in the same manner. So here I have created a folder for these programs which we will do in the Jupyter Notebook in this particular like coming videos. So you can see in, this is the path and I am just copying this path. This is the normal folder which I have created into my system and here I am like uh, coming towards this CD and I am just pasting this path and here I will launch the Jupyter Notebook like what will happen what I am doing actually see when I am launching this Jupyter Notebook on this particular path so it will be stored in this folder only simply you can install it directly into the C drive as I have told you but uh, you can even install it into the folder also it's all up to you but yes, I am creating a separate folder for keeping my Jupyter Notebook programs here. So for uh, like uh, when you have to launch this, you have to use this particular command Jupyter Notebook and this is sufficient to launch. So I am typing Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter Notebook and enter. So what will happen? This as it is a web based IDE, it will be launched here on a new tab automatically. It will take few minutes like a few few seconds or minutes it will take to be launched but it will launch here on a new tab automatically i am just waiting for it to be launched you can just surf it and also serve the fame word educational hub playlist section because there are numerous uh, playlists available for you which are having different courses like python printer series is separately built here the machine learning series PHP, Java, BlueJ if you are having some uh, like you only or somebody else is studying BlueJ like a school student or something so you can just uh, recommend this series to them because it would be really helpful a complete series I have created and I am creating most 
of the series completely and the videos will come frequently so now you can see this is here now the so jopita notebook is launched here so this is the home page and uh, this is the home page you can see and it is launched basically into my folder it is stored basically into my folder so you can see this jopita notebook is now having this debug log and it is not so far compulsory to keep this file i'm just removing it so as soon as i will remove it you will see that there is no file it is an empty jopita drive it is basically a directory you can see it is a folder so to create a new notebook here so i just have to go to the new and this python 3 so as soon as i will come here a new notebook will be opened and on that notebook we can work for multiple programs in the single notebook only like we do not have to create different files for every program like we are doing in the pycharm in the pycharm ide we were doing this but here we will not do this so for this video i am keeping till here only uh, for the next video which will come very soon uh, in this playlist only so you will see Yeah, like uh, we will discuss some machine learning contents on the Jupyter notebook, and you will really enjoy a lot, and you will learn a lot of things related to machine learning this series. So stay tuned. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Take care.